The Kenyan economy currently is the largest in the East African region and the fifth largest in Africa in terms of GDP, which measures the economic output of a country. However, the neighboring country of Tanzania has been experiencing massive economic growth since 1989 and is rapidly outpacing Kenya. According to projections, in the next 10 years, Tanzania will have the largest economy in the East African region. In a study released by the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF, predicts that the production capacity of Tanzania will develop faster than that of Kenya, surpassing the Kenyan economy, and by the year 2028, Tanzanian economy will be bigger than that of Kenya. The speed of economic development in Tanzania can be linked to its openness to international direct investment. The current government of Tanzania, led by President Samia Suluhu, has played a key role in growing the country's economy by promoting and even rewarding domestic investments, thereby fostering an economic environment that is favorable to formation of both private and state-owned businesses. Tanzania has collaborated with several international organizations in recent years in industries including technology, agriculture, mining, construction, and more. Some of the nations with significant business ties to Tanzania are the United States, South Korea, China, and India. Early in the year, Tanzania and India made an agreement that will see the two countries trade using their local currencies, that is the Tanzanian shillings and the Indian rupee, instead of the US dollars. This shows how close Tanzania is with India and the good relationship Tanzania is fostering with other countries in terms of trade. The Tanzanian government is a supporter of intracontinental commerce and is one of the nations that make use of the continental trade framework provided by the African Development Bank. Tanzania has teamed up with a few East African countries between 2022 and 2023, impending the maximizing of income for indigenous enterprises. Tanzania's economy has grown steadily over time, which has helped Tanzania close the economic gap with its neighboring country Kenya. It is this kind of pace in economic growth that saw Ethiopia's economy overtake that of Kenya back in 2015. And if the current situation remains, experts predict that Tanzanian economy will also surpass the Kenyan economy in the next 10 years. 20 years ago, the Kenya's GDP was more than twice the size of Tanzania's, but today the difference is less than half. However, some experts say that Tanzania's rapid economic development is because of its huge population than that of Kenya and a bigger landmass. Kenya's economy has always suffered dips after every five years when Kenya holds general elections, as the elections are always mad with some level of violence or uncertainty, while Tanzania on the other hand has always been peaceful during the general elections. Tanzania generally is always peaceful and this peaceful condition attracts investors and is good for doing business. Tanzania as a country is also endowed with natural resources like diamond and gold, which contribute immensely to its economic output, while Kenya on the other hand has always failed in exploring its oil fields and do not have natural resources compared to that of Tanzania. Kenya's economy is hugely dependent on agriculture and human resource. The transport system in Tanzania has undergone massive transformations and is a clear indicator of economic growth of Tanzania. Dar es Salaam city is the main economic hub of Tanzania. Formerly the capital city of Tanzania, Dar es Salaam is a city that has undergone massive transformations and mainly its transport sector. 
the rapid bus transit system that was introduced in Tanzania has made traveling within the city easier, reducing traffic and congestion within the city. The newly constructed Tanzanite Bridge is the longest bridge in East Africa and has improved the outlook of Dar es Salaam. The bridge has also made navigations within the city much easier. Another mega project that is expected to further boost the Tanzanian economy is the East African Crude Oil Pipeline project. Oil generated in Uganda's Lake Albert oil fields will be transported via the East African Crude Oil Pipeline project to Tanzania's port of Tanga where it will be sold to international markets. ECOP enables Uganda to extract value from its own natural resources and represent a sizable inbound investment of almost $4 billion in both Tanzania and Uganda, extending value creation to Tanzania as well. 80% of pipeline lies within the Tanzania's border. The Tanzania Liquefied Natural Gas Project, also called the Likongo Muchinga Liquefied Natural Gas Project, is another project that will play a key role in the Tanzanian economy in the near future. The government of Tanzania uncovered 56 trillion cubic feet of natural gas reserves far offshore of the Indian Ocean. The Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, the Tanzanian government, and a number of foreign energy firms with operations in Tanzania, including Equinor, Shell, ExMobil, Pavilion Energy, and Ophir Energy, would all be included in the project. business-friendly climate has been developed by President Samia Soluhu to foster the growth of creative ideas. Tanzania's economy is now one of the fastest growing in Africa and Tanzania is one of the best investment destinations in Africa. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.